Welcome, welcome back to the Magic Hours. I'm Zoe Flowers. So we are going to do something that I haven't done in a long time, like a long, long time. And that is the reading of the day. The energy of the day. So today is July 13th. So what is the energy of today? What is the message for today? What is the energy for today? Okay, wow. All right. So we have the magician in reverse, which is interesting to me um, because when the magician is in the upright, it's all about feeling like or understanding that we have everything that we need. You know, you can't really tell in this card, but in the Rider Waite version of this card, all of the elements are present, the wands, the swords, the cups, and the pentacles. Not so much here. I do love this deck though. You know, it's very much about as above, so below this card. Taking the energies from above and bringing them down to earth. You know, it's interesting because when I pulled yesterday, I got the magician and I mean the fool and the fool comes right before the magician in the deck. And the fool is about leaps of faith and initiation and like initiating something new. And then the magician comes through and it's like, you have everything you need to make that happen. You know, I feel like this is actually a pause. I feel like this is actually a pause. What is today? Oh, it's Thursday. We are in a waning moon, right? The moon will go We'll go to a new moon next week, early next week. Monday, I think, the 17th. Is that the 17th? Yeah, it's <laughs> the 17th. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Oh, I see them here. They're here because each one of the suits in the tarot is governed by an element so i do see the fire the earth the water and the air oh that's so it oh my god i never realized that the infinity symbol is this is why i love this deck the infinity symbol that's on their cap is also right here the figure eight you can't see the top part of it up here, but that's what it is. And then here are the glyphs for the elements right there. Wow, that is fascinating. So actually, so what I'm feeling, and you see that the power is damn, uh, the only thing I'm thinking of is not take my power, my power. <laughs> that's all I can think of right now as I look at this video. Um, yeah, but it's a pause right now. Why is there a pause? Why is there a pause? Why is this magician upside down today? Why is this magician upside down today? Why is this magician? Oh, so we have the mother here. Light attributes, nurturing patience, unconditional love, shadow attributes, smothering, abandoning children. Is this issues with the mother? Wow. You see, we got the yes there for this page of swords. Swords has to do with thoughts. Page of Swords is about delays. It can be. 
they are messengers as well. You know, so spirit is there. Wow. Yep. Look at this. I lift it. Wow. I went to lift up the deck and this was sitting here temperance, which is about balancing things. It's about bringing things to harmony. It's about making things serene. But then we also have the six of cups, which has to do with childhood, the things of childhood and nostalgia. So we need to be clearing out the mother energy. We need to be clearing out the mother energy. We have, yep, the high priestess here, which is all about the light and the dark, living in between spaces, tapping into your intuition, tapping into your precious knowledge and wisdom, tapping into your higher conscious. So whatever you're trying to sort of put out into the world before that can happen, Oh, wow. And we're in cancer season. And that new moon is in cancer. So perhaps we need to loose ourselves from the binds, again, that are in our mind, right? Because swords are... Because swords has to do with thoughts, ideas, et cetera that are keeping us bound. This person can free themselves up at any time. So that's what we need to do. That's why we don't feel like we can put our ideas out into the world. So perhaps we need to do some cord cutting with the mother energy, with the archetype of the mother. So it could be the biological mother. It can be the mother figure, issues that we have with the mother figure, that person that raised us right? So let's go ahead and start doing that work so that we can turn that magician upside down. Because for me, when I get a card, it's upside down. It's just a stagnant energy, okay? So we need to be able to be in our power, all right? And some of us need to go no contact with the mothers, okay? So there you go. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you soon.